beautiful dragonflies. Okay, we're getting a late start because I was moving stuff and my sugar was a little bit low and I had to eat and take some insulin. So, yeah, I got my my lunch in, but I got it in late, way late, like an hour late. So, yeah, probably more closer to an hour and a half late, but I got it, you know, so at least I got it. Uh, so how's the weather where you guys are at? Because here it is crazy. It is colder. I mean, cold, but not freezing cold. It's 50, 57 degrees. And, um, I think my eyes are getting worse, which the eye doctor said might happen once we start getting my sugars regulated. He said it might happen. So, I hope not, but we'll see. Which didn't make any sense to me because he said if my blood sugars are running high, then my eyesight's going to be better. But once I get them regulated, my eyesight's not going to be as good. Does that make sense to anybody else? Because it doesn't make sense to me. You think it'd be the opposite way around. If your sugars are too high, then your eyesight would be bad. If your sugars were low and normal, they should be better, right? But apparently not. Okay, so, anyway, I'm not going to have high blood sugar just so I can see better. As long as I'm not going blind. If I start going blind, I'll just stop. I'll start eating a bunch of sugar to see if that helps. <laughs> I'm sure it would, but... Uh, it's just crazy how your body works. But anyway, I've been out running, running, running today. Um, we're going to have a doctor's appointment, we're going to have to drive him. It's all the way to Anderson, so I have Texas on my chin now. And last night I put some of my charcoal mask on it, and I slept with the charcoal mask on it, and it brought it up, and you could see us underneath the skin. So yeah, I couldn't resist, and I picked. Very little came out. So I think I'm gonna have to do another spot treatment with the charcoal again. Yeah, and try and draw some more of that out because that's what the charcoal does it draws out impurities probably just need to do my whole face I haven't done one for a while I probably need to do my whole face with the charcoal mask on probably oh, they're a lot of fun and the one I have doesn't smell bad I can't remember the name of it I'm pretty sure I got it in a I'm pretty sure I got it in a Sephora or a birch box See, there's four or birch box, and I want to say it was Sephora. It was the one that's red and white swirled, and I'm pretty sure that came in Sephora. But anyway, I love it. Um, I'm about, I probably have about a third of the container left, maybe more, maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe it's not half though, I know it's not half. So, but uh, usually when I do that mask, I do it with mom, but here lately, she hasn't been with me. I don't know why. Why is it, Mom? Why don't you like doing face masks with me? Mm -hmm. She said, I don't know. She needs to do them with me. They're fun. Especially when you take pictures of yourself. Put them on Instagram. But, uh, yeah. I would do one while I'm driving, but I would scare everybody. I have to wait for Halloween for that one. Actually, I'd probably scare more people looking the way I look now. <laughs> one of my masks on. Especially when I got Texas on my chin. And speaking of Texas, everybody needs to stop, take a minute, and think about all these people. Nobody died. I don't know how nobody died. Three tornadoes touched down. One of them stayed on the ground, the strongest one. Stayed on the ground 32 minutes. That's half an hour, guys. And it did a lot of damage. And there's a lot of kids that are going to have to be bused to schools. And I think the superintendent said that it was something like miles, not just miles to new schools. And then there's some schools that are so badly damaged they're not going to be able to repair them. They're just gone. And 
um, it's just crazy. The, ugh, I'm sure you guys have seen all of the devastation. Ooh, sorry. Every day. I'm sure you guys have seen all the devastation, destruction, the, oh my gosh. I'm just thankful that nobody died. That's a big feat in itself. Nobody died. Because um, that's something else, man. I'm telling you. That was horrible. I don't know if you guys got to see the pictures um, that they were showing on the news. On the Weather Channel was showing them. And there's this giant, there's one, and it's this giant tornado. And there's cars, you can see cars moving up and down on this highway. And then the lightning strikes and you just see this huge tornado behind them. It was just wicked, wicked. Um, like out of a nightmare. <laughs> Cause the sky lit up and it was like an orangey colored sky. Like on a normal day it would be a really pretty sunset. That real orange sky and then this big giant twister just right in the middle of it. And these cars were driving down the highway. It's like, they probably don't even have a clue that this tornado is coming straight at them. <sighs> but 32 minutes, that's a long time for a tornado to, to stay on the ground. Very long time. I'm hoping he missaid that instead of, it was a guy on a weather channel, I can't remember his name, it was earlier this morning. But uh, he said it was on the ground for 32 minutes. I'm hoping he meant 32 seconds because 32 minutes is a long time for a tornado to stay on the ground. But they showed some before and afters. Oh my gosh, this one house and the, the trees were beautiful. Oh shoot. The trees were beautiful with all the fall foliage. And then after the tornado, what was left of the trees were stripped bare. Stripped completely bare. The house was demolished. It was just crazy. And I think in one area, the, there was one house that didn't get destroyed and it was a brick structure. So, I don't know, guys. It's kind of crazy. So, Take a minute and think about all the people in Texas, because thousands of lives were impacted by these three tornadoes. And now they have the, the struggle of the cleanup and rebuild. Can they rebuild? What's, what's insurance going to cover? You know, all this stuff. So, like I said, take a minute and think about all these people. we can't give them anything else, we can give them emotional support. Keep them in your thoughts and your prayers. Anyway, it's a gloomy day. The wind is a blowing. I open the garage door and all the leaves from the yard can fly into the garage. So, Is working on getting some of the stuff that we're going to put in the shed out to the shed. I bought the cats these steps and the only time they'll use them is if you set them in the middle of a room and Jeremiah will lay on the top step. But the minute you put it against the wall or against something, you know, because they're supposed to be able to climb on it, he won't touch it. They won't touch it. Unless I want to move it. If I go to move it, they'll climb up on it. But other than that, they don't touch it. So we're putting in a shed. And I don't know. I don't know if I can find somebody who needs it. They think their cats will use it. Or, I mean, it's carpeted. It's nice. Maybe when I get the small dog, maybe I'll bring it in and put it on the bed. By the bed so he can climb up on the bed. That'd make JR happy. Not much. <laughs> I don't care. Give me a small puppy. It's sleeping with me. I'm sorry. I don't know 
every time he touches me, I'm going to teach him to bite. <laughs> Now right, Mom. Now right, Mom. This one little dog to the floor, isn't it? Sleep with you, and then when someone tries to touch you, they get you. She's not in a very good mood today or something. She's not very talkative today. So 
I kept having to pull my sister out, which kept making a bunch of noise. And it's like, there's got to be something I can do. So I hurried up and I stitched up a long cord about like about like that long. And uh, took two, two of my jumbo stitch markers. And I hooked them on one on two scissors and then one onto one end and then hooked the other end to my bag that I was working out of. So I could just drop the scissors in when I needed them. I just pull on that cord, pull them up. So, yeah. And it seems to be working okay. So, I'm happy about that. And then, um, I feel like I need to pee all of a sudden. That's not good. I did my pills today and all my meds this morning. I did my insulin, my metformin. Oh, jiggle jiggle. Metformin. I I did them all. And so I'm feeling them. Um, my sugars are pretty whack. They've got the road pretty much blocked with tractors down there, so I'm going to turn here and go up the other road. I love that gazebo, though. Look at that. They have a giant gazebo that has a swing and benches. It's really pretty. It's out of business. A hair salon business, I believe. Oh, my goodness. Look at this mess. It's a mess and a half. Oh, my gosh. This is the one where I can't get through. So, it means I'm going to have to go that way and then cut through that thing, which I don't like doing. Oh my god, I, can I even get through here? Are you freaking kidding me? You see, that truck's... This is stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. i got to be able to get to the school. And that truck, I guarantee, is going to come through there. Because he was going up that one street and he turned. This is stupid. I wish they'd get this little town done. Well, look, those people are getting a metal roof put on. It's pretty cool. It's kind of neat how they do that. Oh my gosh, how are we going to get you to school, Mom? They got this block now. Look. Oh my lord. All right, we're going down in this ditch again. Good glory. All right. Uh, they're going down the non road again. Uh, look at this whole road chopped up. I don't even know what they're doing. No, I'm beginning to wonder if they know what they're doing. Well, there's a car coming through this way, so I should be able to get through here. If everybody just cooperates, it's still a four-way stop, guys. Ugh. Yeah, but how far did they come down? Because there's still trucks blocking. Aren't they? Are those trucks? Mom, are them trucks side by side? I'm trying to watch that little truck see if he makes it through. They gonna have to move. No, he's turning. Ugh. That truck didn't make it through. He had to turn too. This is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Can I turn down Elm Street and get through? It, oh, is my creepy house on Elm Street? No way. Look at the piles of sand. You guys, I wish you could see this. I should have just come over here and got some freaking sand. These piles are bigger than the car. They're taller than the freaking car. They're everywhere. There's one back there. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lanta. This 
keeps getting worse. I'm worried about which way to go because they've got everything tore up. It's like, how do you get to school now? This is so stupid. Alright, we'll go up here. Oh, can I get through? Uh, I don't know, baby. This is the street that my spooky house is on. roads blocked when the kids are going to be getting out of school. I don't know who runs this little town. But they need to be checked. Next year he'll be in middle school so he won't be over here. He'll be over at the big school. So, lordy lordy. I'm going to go down. I was going to go on that side street, but I don't think I can go on that side street because there's a tractor down there working. Now I won't have to walk up and get him either. So I think I'm just going to get over here and see if somebody would be nice and let me in. Or wait till the end of the line and jump in. That's a long freaking line. I guess I could go down and get it at the end of the line, huh? Because the line's getting bigger. Look, another car just added to it. Buses are loading right now. Oh my gosh, another car added to it. Let's just go down there. If I can get through here, can I get through here? You stay, lady. Stay. Please stay. I'm going to just shoot you here. There we go. Thank you. You're not moving. <sighs> Guys, just my vlogs are so crazy anymore. I just like, we don't know what's going on from one minute to the next. <sighs> you guys said you have fun watching my vlogs. I hope so. I hope you guys get a good laughs. Because there's some crazy stuff going on, man. Okay. Now, I'm going to back up just a little bit. Because I'm on a road. And I don't want to block this road. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. But I can't help you <laughs> right now. Oh, my goodness. There's a car coming up behind. There's a car on the side street wanting to turn. It's crazy today, guys. Everybody's feeling it today. I need to talk to the dietitian or the doctor and find out. Because I've noticed that when I keep my sugar levels where they're supposed to be, my mouth and my throat are so dry. Well, I don't even know what I'm going to do about it. It's making my throat... Or my voice really raspy when it gets really dry. And I don't like that at all. At all. Oh. I so wish they'd fix these roads. Because this is not going to be cool this winter. detours and stuff. That's not not good. Oh, excuse me. It's not Gouda. I don't know what that guy's doing. Shoveling the sand around in the street. <laughs> Do you see him? He's over there. In that, look, he's just like 
using a, a shovel and sweeping at the sand. You see him? I sure wouldn't want his job. I want that guy's job. The one in the tractor pulling that thing that with the big wheel flattening out the sand. Why is he digging in the sand if he's flattening the sand? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I need to check my blood sugar and see where it's at. I'm feeling pretty crappy right now. So, I know it was a short one. Short, sweet, and sassy, right? <laughs> I don't even know how long it's been. Uh, about 25 minutes. So, remember, all dragonflies are beautiful in their own way. I love each and every one of you, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Alright guys, love you. Bye!